There is a brand new glasses-free 3D smartphone that just launched and literally nobody knew about it. And no, I am not talking about my iPhone 15 Pro, which I transformed into a glasses-free 3D smartphone that really works. I'm talking about a real Android smartphone that has a built-in glasses-free 3D display. And this is the first one that's been released in years. I think it's been over five years since there's been any glasses-free 3D smartphone. The brand is called Coolpad. It is the first time I've ever heard of this company. I can't be the only one, but literally I've seen nothing online about these 3D smartphones and they released earlier in April. These 3D phones actually appear to be pretty legit. Let's take a quick look at all the details. Before we dive into that, I actually ordered both of these smartphone models. So if you want to see me unbox them and then review these brand new 2024 glasses-free 3D Android smartphones, then I recommend subscribing to this channel so you don't miss those videos when they drop. So here we are on the Coolpad homepage and this glasses-free 3D smartphone comes in two models. The name of the phone is the Coolpad Daguan San, which is Coolpad Daguan 3. The second one is the Coolpad Daguan 3 Plus. Let's take a look at the 3 first and then we'll look at the 3 Plus after that. The artwork they have going on here, illustrating the 3D effect, is actually pretty cool looking. And then the phone itself has got this interesting looking texture on the back. Right at the top here, it highlights a couple of key characteristics that they're saying about this phone that's probably different from previous Android smartphones that have released glasses-free 3D phones. First one being that it's high resolution 3D. The second is it's wide angle immersion, which means there's a wide viewing angle because this supports head tracking, fast response time, built-in 3D display, and the layers on this thing are crazy. You'll see in a second how many different layers they have built into this display. Apparently, I did not realize how involved some of this could be. And then auto adjustment, presumably of the 3D effect to reduce eye strain. I think it's an important point to focus on and it's interesting to see like how effective that technology is, if it actually works make the experience more comfortable or not and how that differs from like the just the regular head tracking or what's done with the eye tracking and the 3D devices that we've seen so far on this channel. So this first one comes in two colors, blue and black. As you can see, it's 120 hertz variable refresh rate, a pretty good battery. Screen size is 6.58 inches, which is FHD+. plus. I believe that stands for full HD+, plus, with this double rear camera arrangement, 13 megapixels, and then a chip that supports 5G. Now the first main thing that they focus on here is again the whole 3D visual experience highlighted in this image too. And then they have what's called Migu Shipping, which is like a video service online. That's probably, I mean, it's only available in China, so I don't think I'm going to be able to access it, unfortunately, even if I get this phone. But I am very curious to see what they would have on that platform. And yet another pretty cool illustration just talking about how precise and refined the 3D display technology is that's built into this phone. We will have to actually put this to the test because a quick search of this company really gave mixed results in terms of its reputation. People sort of view it as a low-end device smartphone company or one that is almost kind of like a cheap or fakish smartphone manufacturer. That's the way this company is viewed anyway. But looking at this homepage actually still makes me feel kind of excited to try this out. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll see how good the 3D effect is and how good the phone is overall. But here we go. So this is the apparent 3D structure of this phone's display stack, which looks pretty crazy. And I found this part very interesting because it says that their diagonal optical engraving on the display here in the using the traditional method would make the text and things appear sort of grainy or um, you could see like the lenticular barrier or whatever this is making the 2D quality worse. But over on the right hand side they're calling it their innovation with this method and it looks much cleaner. Not perfect, you can still see diagonal lines especially if you zoom in and it gets a little blurry but it is much better than what we see on the left hand side. And this kind of reminds me of the 3D effect my iPhone now has. Not 100% perfect, but it's very minute. When I'm using it, it really doesn't uh, take away from the experience at all. So I think if it's reached this level of quality, should be good enough. And this next image just shows that it's got a pupil tracking algorithm. So this is also very similar to all the other latest 3D tech. And I believe from what I understand at least, this is the very first smartphone ever to hit the market anywhere that has a glasses-free 3D display 
with built-in head tracking that uses AI to do auto adjustment, auto calibration, dynamic calibration, other types of AI supplementing or adjustments to keep performance stable and reduce the so-called 3D performance cost of viewing stuff in 3D on this phone. So it's interesting that they have all this use of AI tech described here and all this auto dynamic adjustment type of technology. Curious to see how smooth that makes the experience too. Like if I'm gonna feel a difference because of the way this company has implemented this stuff. And if it really is any different from the other head tracking and 3D display technology that I've experienced so far. The viewing angle it says is 60 degrees. I like this view here of the cameras. I wonder if they, it doesn't seem to say anywhere on this homepage that there's actually a feature that takes 3D photos like what is built into the iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max. But this is a dual camera setup Although the stereo baseline is very narrow, at least this camera orientation should theoretically support 3D photo capture and video capture, and that would totally make sense considering that this is a 3D smartphone. But again, that feature is not described anywhere on this page from what I can see, so the only way to find out is to actually start it up and see if there's any 3D photo capture mode or video capture mode built in. The other features described here are just sort of things that would apply to any normal phone, not specific to 3D smartphones, so I'm not going to get into the details. And nothing super special that would like blow any other nice phone out of the water. It just seems to be standard or below standard compared to other regular like nice smartphones out there on the market. So next let's take a look at their other model, Dagwan 3 Plus, which is this one, and I like this too. It's got like a T-Rex popping out of the smartphone, and you can see right away that the design on the phone is different. The material used, their description here and the way it's advertised is pretty much the same as the one we just looked at, but there may be a few differences. First thing I think is the sound system that's used is more of a an immersive speaker system built into this phone versus the other one which probably had more just regular not so immersive speakers. That is one of the different things that is highlighted here. And then they're calling this texture on the smartphone baby skin, AG glass phone body. And then similar artwork here, pretty much the same as we just saw Here's another good look at what this phone actually looks like. Basically says that the texture of this phone is smooth to the touch, like the skin of a newborn infant. The size of the screen is the same size. It's also a FHD plus display, 6.58 inches, but the brightness on this model is higher. Here again, highlighting those nicer speakers and enhanced battery performance for this particular model of the phone. 7.5 hours for gaming, 44 hours for listening to music, and 11.5 hours for watching movies. And then the other thing is the camera arrangement on this, quite different. There are three cameras, a nighttime camera, one for taking scenery, landscape camera, and then the ultra close range camera. And it just shows you some examples of this. And that's it for these smartphones. But yes, I just ordered both of them tonight. If you're interested in seeing what the first true glasses free 3D smartphones of 2024, or really of this decade for that matter, how they stack up against all the other great 3D tech that is glasses free 3D that has come out over the past year or so. If you're kind of excited like me to find out how good these smartphones are and how good the 3D actually is, then definitely like and subscribe to this channel and let me know what you think in the comments. You know, what do you think of this brand? Have you heard of Foolpad? What is your impression of it? And just having gone through the webpage like this, you actually have to scan this here to pull up the price of the phone. If these phones were readily accessible in your region or your market, would you consider purchasing one? Having taken a look at these phones and the details on the webpage, let me know what your first impression is, what type of quality and outcome you're expecting when we actually unbox these phones and try them out when they arrive. I've been holding out for whatever smartphone Leia is preparing to launch, and I was not expecting somebody to beat them to it and release an Android smartphone that has glasses free 3D in 2024, let alone have one that slipped under everyone's radar and is literally already available for purchasing China on the market today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.